Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and today we are trying out some new foundation primer situation. I will be trying this bad boy out. Can I just say, look at this box, first of all. Like, look at, that's how it arrived to me. It was like half open, like stray dog chewed on it. So first up, we will have the Stila Stay All Day Cover Powder Finish Foundation cream and cream concealer. It is the stick roll up foundation. Apparently that's a hot new trend right now. But what's special about this one is that not only do you get the foundation. Okay, let's get rid of this. And it took a chunk of my foundation. Do you see this? Do you see this madness right here? How it took a, a chunk right here, down here? What is this? Why did you, I, I paid for that. Rude. But in the top of this, once you, when you roll that back down in, in a tiny top here, what you you get this concealery situation. Now, is that a little dark for me? Yeah, I think it's meant to be like the same color or a concentrated version of this. But it also did come with this cute little mirror, which, come on, how cute is that? Be like, hmm, that'd be me. <laughs> so about this uh, stick foundation, here is what the website says. The stay all day foundation and concealer coverage you love, now in a perfectly portable stick form. The creamy weightless texture glides on effortlessly, blends seamlessly, and dries to a soft powder finish. Includes a perfectly, perfectly paired under eye concealer in the cap to neutralize under eye circles and hide imperfections. Concealer included in the cap with a brush or finger, tap onto areas of concern and blend. Okay, pretty self-explanatory. The other item that I picked up, which does say new on the Alta website, do I know how new it is? No, not gonna lie, but I think it's pretty new. This is the Stila One Step Prime, Prime Preps Smooths and Nourishes Primer. And again, the box, nice and janky. Thank you, shipping department. But there, it looks so awesome. Does that not look amazing? Now on the website, what does this bad boy say? Introducing the additional to Stila's one step category, one step prime. That sentence does not, there's no way to fix that sentence. What they have written here is introducing the an additional to Stila's one step category, one step prime. Either I don't know how to read, which is entirely possible, or that makes no sense. Moving on. The innovative Swirled Helix Serum Primer combines a crystal clear base with the perfect balance of skin condition skin, oh my god, skin conditioning silicones. It fills in pores and fine lines, creating smooth canvas that allows your foundation to apply effortlessly and enhances the wear time. Specially formulated Youth Revival bioavailable mineral complex, an exclusive synergetic combination of 15 bioavailable bio vitamins, nutrients, and, anti and antitoxins, antioxidants, still can't read, oil-free, fragrance-free, paraben-free, how to use before makeup application, pump a pea-sized amount, and apply with, to skin with your fingertips or brush. <sighs> okay, I think I got half them words wrong, and I'm exhausted, and I still gotta put it on my face. Could you, couldn't you have just said, hey, check out our cool new primer. It looks sweet. You should, could have just said that and I'd have been like, sweet, I'm down. So I have already washed and moisturized and done all that good stuff to my skin. So we are going to go in first with the Z Primer. And I'm just going to pump it out right here, right here. If I can. Okay, about, I'm going to go in with about that much. It has like almost no scent mixed with like baby powder that is so fun okay not or, but it's not a bad scent like which is nice because i've definitely used primers before that i was like stop you stink <laughs> okay so put that on a little bit tacky which i think is okay um didn't like a, you know reduce poor appearance or anything but i don't think it was supposed to um sunk right in so definitely not like a silicone pore filler at this point in time but we shall see so that's that. Isn't it so funny that you go through all of the reading and all of the everything just, just <laughs> for that one moment where you put it on your face and go, hey, yes, yeah, let's move on. So now it's time for the main attraction. We're going to roll her up, put it on the face. Even though I'm missing this chunk of foundation, I'm coming for you people. You took my foundation from me. See that gap right there? That's mine. That was probably worth like $5 and you took it. Okay, so I'm thinking we will take this foundation. We're just going to shmlr. We're gonna start with this side. I'm actually gonna go in first with a brush for this one. Um, see how it buffs out? Oh, wow. Okay, not bad. Okay, so that buffed in like really quickly. Hopefully this coverage is buildable. So let's go in again. So that is this half of the face done with the brush. We're gonna go in and try the other side with the Beauty Blender. 
So that blends out okay with the Beauty Blender. I just don't think I like it. I feel like it left it a little bit patchy. But I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more on this side. Maybe some on my nose because apparently I haven't done that yet. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and finish this part with a brush. Okay, so I went ahead, I finished that part of it. I don't know that I would call this like my favorite look. Um, I, I feel like it's actually patchy through here. I'm hoping that maybe with the concealer and then setting it and all that good stuff, I'm kind of hoping that that part will get fixed. Now I am going to start going in with this concealer. My biggest concern, of course, is the skin tone because as you know, typically when you conceal and like do the under eye area, you want to go brighter with your look so that way it kind of brightens up the whole eye. Um, and I have a feeling this is not brightening. Like, I, don't get me wrong, it's not a bad skin match. I also don't think that it's doing much. So I did go ahead, I concealed under this eye using this concealer under here, and then a couple little like extra red spots that I had on the cheek area. And don't get me wrong, it's not the worst concealer. My actual initial concern of it being too dark wasn't true. It was literally a perfect match for under my eye. The only bummer to that is it didn't brighten up the eye. So, I mean, that's something. Um, my second issue I'm having with it is that it does not cover my blue, like, these. this side has no concealer. You can definitely see, like, the blue bag situation. Over here, there's all the concealer. I mean, I went in, and I went in, and I went in, and it's still, like, you can still see the blue hue under my eye. And my blue bags, like, or blue lines, or whatever, blue whatever, under my eyes, isn't that bad, so I feel like it should have been able to cover it if it is any kind of a concealer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, I'll try this eye, see how I feel about it here in a second. I went ahead, I finished concealing, I put a little bit under here, and then, like, a little bit down in this region, and I gotta be honest, here's my my thought issue situation. Um, my first thought initially is that I really like the idea of this, of the, the regular foundation, the concealer and the cap. I like that. It eliminates, you know, having to carry that extra product, which is cool. It's all right here. It's all self-contained. However, as we saw, mine is broken. It doesn't take a lot to break this thing. It is a pretty soft stick in that sense, um, but it did go on a little bit rough. Um, as far as the concealer goes, it's not quite there for me. Like, it's close, it's just not quite. Um, if I had to rate it, I'd probably give it like a solid seven and a half, eight out of 10. It just does not conceal the bags like I need or am used to with my shape tape. So for that reason, I will probably have to go in and touch up a little bit because your girl can't be looking tired all day. So I'm gonna go ahead, I will probably fix that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, obviously finish beating my whole face. I will check in with you right before I leave, let you know how it takes the setting powder, and then I will check in again at the end of the day. So hold on just a second so I can finish beating my face. Beat, 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 beat. Okay guys, I went ahead, I finished up obviously my face. I did end up setting it with the Lottie setting powder that I have been obsessed with and loving. I, you know, finished my eyes and everything. My brows were a hot mess today, but you know what? You grow up, you move on, you get over your life. So if I'm being honest and I'm going to, you know, take a look at this foundation, it actually looks very nice. Um, I was a little bit apprehensive because there was some patchiness that I thought I saw like kind of developing. I look a little bit goth right now in my viewfinder and it's really throwing me off. <laughs> Sorry. But anyways, I think that like there was a little bit of patchy kind of in like the cheek area. But overall, I feel like that really went away, faded nicely. And honestly, I'm actually shook at how like through here, my pores, sorry, my pores look very like minimized. My nose ended up really good. It's not caking around my nose, my eyes, anything like that. Um, I did, like I said, I was going to do, I went ahead and I did shart. Why do I always say shart? Huh. I did shape tape, tart shape tape under my eyes here um, and then a little bit of other like around the face just to highlight but nothing really for the concealer purpose um, and I will say this foundation definitely did have some good like medium build coverage which I was really happy about um, so overall it feels very light on the skin which I really appreciate it I hate when you have to like build and build and build and you feel like that layer on your face is just getting thicker and thicker I will be back to spill the tea here very soon Okay guys, so I had a little bit of a shorter day today. Um, I only, I think it's been, let me grab my phone. 
It's been a just over seven hours, which for me is a short day. <laughs> but um, I kind of wanted to come back on here, let you guys take a look at the foundation and kind of see where we're at. I can tell you right off the bat, like before we zoom in, it is oily in the T-zone. I did no blotting today. So for seven hours on my super oily face, no blotting has happened. Um, there's also not a big amount of separation on my nose, which I'm just like so impressed by. Um, overall, I think that I still look very porcelain-esque, which is so impressive because normally right about now, you know, we hit like the six, seven mark, six, seven hour mark and my foundation starts to break apart and starts to look hella nappy. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in, let you take a look so we can kind of come to conclusions together because that's what we do here on my channel. That's what we do. Okay, so as you can kind of tell a little bit, actually, you know what, I'm going to put my glasses back on because I can't hardly see what I'm doing here. But through here, it did get a little bit patchy. I remember in the first part of my video, I had mentioned, like, I feel like there might be some patchiness through here, but I wasn't sure if it would dissipate, and it didn't. But at the same time, I also feel like you can't really see it. Like, that might just be texture on my skin. I don't, I don't really have any way of knowing that. Um... But up through here, you can definitely see like the shine I'm talking about on the nose. But also through here, it just looks really nice and matte still, which I really love. My highlight still looks amazing. It didn't like disintegrate that. Same with like blush and bronzer combos on both sides. So the only real areas that I'm thinking are like, you know, somewhat problematic as of this moment would be on the cheeks a little bit. Like I said, there's like that texture breakup kind of look, which is weird for me because normally that's not the first place I would see it. Normally I start seeing texture like on my nose, which there is a little bit like of breakup going on right here. But overall, holy cow, am I impressed. Okay, I'm going to zoom out because this is getting awkward. So honestly, you guys, like if I'm being completely honest, I will totally wear this again more than likely. I don't know if it was the foundation or maybe it's this primer. I don't know. I normally don't have very good luck with foundations, primers, and all of that just because my face is so oily. Like I've said this before, the oil on my face like laughs at oil resistant primers and foundations and setting sprays because of my face is that oily. It's like, oh, you think you're oil resistant? Girl, watch this. So I I feel like my like my face put up a fight and this looks really really good for me at this point in the game seven hours in and to look this like I don't want to say velvet but to look this smooth still is very impressive um, especially like over here again just that little bit of texture but on my cheeks normally there's a little bit of breakup through here and then my nose is normally the game changer like I mean game changer and it might just, I didn't have to use much of this product when I put it on, so maybe that's what it was. Like, there was just such a little amount, good coverage, I'm not sure. I would call this on its own about medium to full coverage, um, but you add that concealer, which was actually a pretty damn good concealer, if I'm being honest. It did pretty nice. Um, and I would call that, that really helped it out a lot. They actually go together very nicely. Um, under my eyes, I did layer over top of this concealer, the Shape Tape, which I told you I was going to do because I didn't like the um, amount of coverage that I got out of it. Um, but I will say, with that being said, the Tarte Shape Tape did blend very, very, very nicely with this foundation, and it blended in very nicely with the concealer that was underneath of it. So, I mean, overall, I can't complain there either, you know, because if that was the case, if this concealer was brighter, I would have used it, and I would have been just fine. Um, overall, it definitely set very nicely. All my products layered nicely on top of it. It didn't break apart. So, I am going to consider these, as of right now, an oil friendly situation. Um, a lot of people that have oily skin have less oil than me. Some probably do have more, absolutely. Because your girl knows all about that spectrum for oil. Ranges from like, oh, I get a slightly oily T-zone to like, oh, I have a piece of pizza sitting right here by the end of the day. So I can totally, I totally get that. Um, but for this girl, I, like I said, I will probably wear this again, keep testing it out, make sure that I really like it. Um, but for now, for the purposes of this, my first impression is that this is a great combo. These worked really well together. They set really nicely on my skin. And overall, they just did a really nice job. So I hope that that kind of helps you guys make your decision. If you're oily, if you're not, I was actually 
really skeptical of this primer because it doesn't, it didn't say like, oh, hey, we're oil friendly or mattifying or anything. If anything, it says preps, smooths, and nourishes, which a lot of that is typically like dry skin friendly because it kind of goes in, it settles into the dryness, and it kind of helps people with drier combination skin, um, but not so much straight oily skin like I have. But I honestly think that this did a really nice job, and I think that you paired them together, and it's just, whoo, out of this world. So I'm happy. I love it. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys that review and let you take it however you may take it. And we will go from there. I can't wait till I find another foundation. If you guys have anything that you want me to try out, if you're like, hey girl, I have oily skin and I've been curious about this product, will you try it? You let me know. You tweet at me, Instagram me, or um, you know, comment down below and we will go from there. Ask your people. Share my videos. I got asked today, by the way. Um, Sarah, if you could share my videos. I think that was her name, Sarah. I'm pretty sure. Sorry, I'm horrible with names. But absolutely you can share my videos. Holy cow, that means so much to me. Just like the thought that someone would like it enough to share it or me or my brand or whatever. That's awesome. Absolutely, you guys can share my stuff, talk about it. Fantastic, I really appreciate it. That says a lot, like to me it's very encouraging. Sometimes when I get on here and I'm as honest as I am, it can be kind of you know disheartening because people will get mad at you for giving your honest opinion and you guys know how the internet is. That's just how it goes. And sometimes that can be a little disheartening. And then when there are people that really appreciate you know, the, the genuineness of not only my personality, but how genuine and thorough my reviews are, I legitimately don't want you guys to buy a product and waste your money if I already wasted mine. Or, you know, just like with that Jeffree Star customer service video, I'm glad that, you know, people would watch my video before they pay expedited shipping and then they don't even get it any faster. So those are the kind of things that I love. So all of that to say, if there's stuff you ever want me to try, comment and let me know. I'm always down. I love trying new products. I think it's great. Um, so I will talk to you guys all later. I hope that you enjoyed this. Comment, like, subscribe, buttons, Twitter, Instagram, every other keyword you can think of. And I will talk to you guys all in the next video. Bye. Shh, <laughs>